You gotta love the topography of this area. It's like a really difficult level of Excite Bike. You know, Excite Bike. It was a motorbike game for the original Nintendo, the NES. You know, the NES, the system that came before the Super Nintendo. You know, the Super Nintendo, the system that came before the Nintendo 64. You know, I better just stop here before I start feeling sad and old. But yeah, the scenery, there's all these buttes. I guess you could say the drive is beautiful. <laughs> and all these gorges. I guess you could say the drive is gorgeous. <laughs> and the road winds through it like a maze. I guess you could call the drive amazing. Good afternoon, butt kickers. It's June 14, the sixth day of another vacation, which means we're headed to California where our audible gasp extended family awaits. But first, we're driving through Las Vegas, and while we're not stopping, I'm hoping to get drunk enough off the aerosolized booze in Vegas's atmosphere to coast at least through the awkward hugs. Although I guess we're getting gas in Vegas, which I've advised against because I don't want our family van to contract a GSTD, a gas station transmitted disease. Apparently gas is really cheap in Las Vegas, although presumably that's a buy-in for a game of video poker, the outcome of which will determine your finalized gas price. And the house always wins, so now we're a thousand dollars in the hole, and our van has syphilis. Real quick, some other GSTDs I came up with. Gonawila, and genital warts, and HI Vroom. Feel free to pick your favorite. I'm hardly a Vegas expert, but it seems like the best way to enjoy Sin City is to avoid gambling entirely and waste your money instead on burlesque shows, various assorted Cirques du Soleil, and possibly an Elvis impersonator wedding or two or seven. But hey, Vegas is a family-friendly place now, right? I mean, doesn't everything have to be these days? You know what that means, prostitutes for the whole family. And yes, I realize joking about Las Vegas is easier than your mom, but at least it's not as easy as making your mom jokes. And newsflash, I tend to go on and on about stuff that requires little to no explication. Did you watch yesterday's video? It was like three and a half minutes of me pointing out that, surprise, polygamy is goofy. Anyway, as you might be able to surmise, California is our stopping point for a while. You can't go much further west without getting a little damp. A cousin is getting married, dismayingly not by an Elvis impersonator, and we're all going. I mean, my cousin didn't come to any of my seven weddings yesterday, and frankly, I doubt she'll come to the impending funeral for my goldfish wife today. But I'll go to her wedding because I'm such a good person. And also for the free food and drink and stuff. Although I hope she gets a better caterer than I did for my seven weddings. I've had enough Cheez-Its and root beer for a while, thank you very much. <laughs> hey guys, what do you call the cash required to fund a wedding? Matrimony! <laughs> I got it back. Until tomorrow. There you go. Oh, I'm sorry. If that goes in, I'm going to use that as the, as the outro. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I couldn't come up with a fifth one. That's what I'm talking about. I could not. Uh, I tried to come up with something with chlamydia. I just couldn't come up with anything. Failed as a, as a comedian today. <laughs> <laughs>